I'm Becky Harvey and I'm a curator with the National Trust. And Canons Ashby is a Grade 1 listed building. It's a really special building and quite unusual. And it's filled with some incredible objects and collections that tell us a lot about the past and help us think about the world today. Today we're laying a new carpet in the staircase at Canons Ashby. It's a replacement for the previous carpet which was starting to look really worn. And we've also took the opportunity to update the design. When we design new carpets for our places, we look for evidence of what was here historically. So that might be fragments that have survived the historical carpet, it could be photographs or paintings or descriptions in historic records. And unfortunately at Canons Ashby we don't have any fragments of the historic carpet, but we are fortunate to have a number of watercolours that were painted by Clara Dryden in the early 20th century. And these give us an idea of what the carpet might have been like at that time. So in particular we noticed the colour palette that she uses, a really deep palette of blues, brown, orange and a little bit of green. And she also shows that there was quite a bold pattern on the carpet, but there isn't very much detail of actually what that was. We wanted to work with a supplier that values the design and places the same importance on carpets as us. And Graven and Wilton worked with us very closely to develop the design. So we took those watercolours to them and from that they produced several drawings. And they looked at their archive, they looked for evidence elsewhere. And we worked together to hone those designs and choose the right colours. My name is John Thorley and I'm Head Wilton Tuner of the Grosvenor Wilton plant. I've worked here since 1975, yeah, so that's getting on in a few years now. The loom behind me is getting on for 100 years, built in 1927. It's a Hutchinson and Hollingsworth. Probably would have been the type of loom that would have made the Cannons Ashby cloth in the first place. It's really important to keep traditional manufacturing processes alive for us because we rely on the skills and knowledge and techniques of our suppliers to help us to look after and maintain our places. We present our houses to help interpret its history and its stories for our visitors, so even really small features in a building like a carpet are really important in helping us to understand how people lived and worked here in the past. 